Welcome back to part three of the Pouch tutorial. This will be the last one in the series. So today I will finish off adding the buckle in the front and the stitches on it. Then um, sculpt some wrinkles and at the end apply some fabric details to uh, wrap the project up. So let's get started. So we need a, a buckle strap in the front. Of course, you can spend the time career on but in order to save some time here. Um, I just found one that's pretty good on the internet. I will provide the link in the description for you. So insert brush won't work on uh, stuff has a subdivision history. So what I do is just make a duplication of the original pouch and then delete the subdivision history. And then you just um, drag and place the, the buckle in the front. Then use split uh, on mask points uh, to separate the, the buckle out. Then just hold down Control Alt to isolate the vertices where you want to do the adjustment. And you can see, uh, I want to bend the, the bottom of the strap, kind of uh, follow the shape of the pouch. And then I use the gizmo tool, to pretty much just pull it out, make it longer. Um, I use the Z modeler tool to uh, insert an extra uh, division in the middle. So you can kind of bend it further down to uh, match the shape. So once you're happy with the overall feeling, just press D to activate the uh, dynamic sub, just to get an idea of how the buckle will look at the end. And now we will just add some uh, stitches uh, on the buckle strap. So it's pretty much the same as what I demonstrated in the last tutorial. Once you insert the first one, just hold down control. You can drag out a copy and then and uh, just um, place it to where you think it makes sense. So if you missed the last tutorial, I will put a link in the upper right corner. Um, just go check it out. So for the diagonal one, if you don't have a steady hand and then you can just go to the stroke and then uh, use the S line so you can just um, easily draw a straight line like, like this. Besides hold on control to make a duplication, you can also uh, separate them out using the split uh, mask points. Then make a duplication of the sub tool. I found it's easier to do fine adjustment that way. So now we have the stitch on the top and you can just pretty much do the same to the bottom. So now we are ready to uh, sculpt some uh, wrinkles. Press W to go to the gizmo mode and hold on control and click. It will help you mask out based on the poly groups. So here I will just use a, a standard brush. Basically just um, alter between Z add and Z sub by holding the ALT. And then also use smooth to blend it better. So look at a reference image and then see how wrinkles usually place. If you find the smoothing effects too uh, light, I will go to the brush and then um, smooth. There's a special one called Smooth Stronger. And use that one, it will help you blend between the surface better. So here, pretty much just go around the pouch and then um, 
place the wrinkle where that makes sense. Make sure you um, check out the reference photo so it will look more realistic. Now the front wrinkle is pretty much done. Um, we will need some for the, the side of the pouch and the back as well. Um, I will just uh, show you the end result here. We are almost there. So now we are ready to add some uh, surface detail. We will need to create UV first. So go down to um, subdivision one. And we need to freeze subdivision level in order to use a Z modeler to change the poly um, group color. The purpose here is to use different poly group to um, define where I want separate UV shell. So later when we uh, use the UV master to unwrap, it will help to uh, speed up the process quite a bit. The tip here, when you use Z modeler, hover over the faces, hold on all, and click the faces, it will turn to white to create temporary poly group. And then when you release the all key, it will um, assign a, a different uh, poly group. You can also, um, before you release the left mouse button, by key tapping the all keys, it will let you cycle through different poly group colors. So now go to UV master and then click work on clone. Now we are ready to do unwrapping. So make sure the poly groups uh, is uh, activated. Just press unwrap and then press flatten. You can see uh, UV master pretty much create the uh, UV layout based on your uh, poly groups. We got some UVs, but based on the uh, texture density, you can see due to the uh, very long uh, pouch edges, so everything is pretty small. So I'm just gonna do some quick manual uh, UV layout adjustment. So press W to go to the gizmo mode and hold on control and uh, click on the UV island to isolate it. And then now you can uh, do all the uh, transform operations to the UV shells. So we got a UV layout like this. Uh, doesn't need to be perfect, just uh, enough for us to do uh, to apply some uh, surface details. So now the UV is done. Uh, just click back to the original uh, subtools and then use paste UVs to um, paste back where we just finished. Now go back to geometry and then click free subdivisions level. So basically just to bring subdivisions back. So after a couple minutes, you can see now we got our uh, subdivisions back. Hold on, Control Shift, click the surface to isolate it. Then Control Shift, drag the canvas to invert the selection. Then click the surface where you want it to add to the selection. Then hold on, Control, and click the canvas to uh, mask out what's visible in the canvas. Then Control Shift, tap the canvas to uh, reveal what's hidden before. Yes, I know it's complicated. Um, just uh, rewind and watch a couple more times if you don't get it the first time. Okay, now so go to uh, Surface and Noise. And click UV since we want to use our own UV. Then click Alpha to uh, find the pattern we uh, want to use for the noise. Then we just play around with the slider to uh, get the scale and the strings um, 
that's proper for the, the fabric we were aiming for. So once we are happy with the result, just press OK to accept the setting. And then uh, press Apply to Mesh. Now just exit the solo mode to see the whole thing and clear the mask. Uh, here I just apply another uh, material. So that pretty much wrap up the tutorial. I hope you learned something new today. Uh, since it's my first tutorial, um, a lot of hours went into making this. Um, so please like, uh, share, and subscribe to support the channel uh, for more to come. Thank you.